Hello and welcome to Nailchemy. I'm Lisa Graves and today we are going to be exploring the Nailchemy Aurora Acrylic Gel range. So I've picked out these five and um, there are a couple more to the collections available. A couple of different white ones and then your natural clear. However, I am doing my own nails and I thought, oh, you know, let's do this acrylic gel. Um, couldn't decide which colour to use. So I thought, what the hell? Let's go for all five. So um, on my own nails, I have already sculpted out a clear base. I've already got my base coat down on my natural nails. So we are pretty much ready to go with the application of the acrylic gel. Um, so for this, you are going to need a little dappen dish of some description so that you can pour some of your Aurora Slip Solution in there. Um, this bottle is really handy because it's got this top on it, so it's not going to go sploshing everywhere. You can pour it in and not worry about any wastage. Um, you are only going to need a small amount. You're not going to need a lot, so don't get uh, heavy handed pouring it in. Um, I'm also going to be using the Nail Kami acrylic gel brush, which has got the built-in spatula on the end. So, um, let's just go left to right, shall we? Okay, so on pinky, I am going to go for cover pink. So, unscrew the lid. So, like I said, I've already got my base down. So I'm just popping my strength and structure in. You don't need a lot. I definitely tend to go um, quite heavy handed uh, with products. But the good thing about acrylic gel is, um, obviously on a standard set of nails, if you are only using the one colour, if there is any excess product, when you take it off the end, you can use that on the next nail which is brilliant so I always do my poly gel in one bead so I like to pop my bead pretty much where I want my apex and then using my brush I can tap that into place all around the cuticle so you'll notice every time I go in to my slip solution I'm blot off, blotting off any excess we don't want our brush really wet we just want it slightly damp the idea of the slip solution is that it's just stopping the product from sticking to your brush so make sure you're coming all the way down the sides of your tips and the thing i love so much about acrylic gel is you have got all the time in the world to work with this product and pat it and pull it and play with it and mold it into that shape until you are happy. Uh, but the thing I always teach my students is you've got two options. So long as you've got your full coverage in there and you've got your apex in there somewhere, it doesn't matter if your apex is too thick, you can spend your time at this stage now perfecting the product and just spending that extra little bit of time making sure that you're happy with the nail before it goes into the lamp. Or you can just say, you know what, I know my perfect nail is in there somewhere. It's just going to need a little bit of filing out. Whack it in the lamp, get it cured and then deal with the filing afterwards. Because this product files so easily and so quickly. There really is no benefit to which way you want to do it. It's all going to come out the same and you're not going to save time either way. It's all going to balance itself out so like i say you can either spend a little bit of extra time now like i am doing just perfecting this or you can throw it in a lamp give it a cure and then file out any of those imperfections so that one was cover pink right let's throw that under the lamp don't actually throw it might break something so on the next nail we are going for cover natural Okay, so cover natural. Clean your spatula off. Again, I'm going to squeeze this out. Ooh, this is pretty. Get however much product you need. Don't forget to put the lid on. Again, I'm going to place this 
pretty much where I want my apex to be into my slip solution and I'm going to start pressing this product it is really really gentle presses getting your brush behind that bead of product and making sure that your brush is at a, roughly a 45 degree angle will ensure that your product tucks really nicely into that cuticle area oh this is like a milky pink it reminds me of what does it remind me of <gasps> strawberry opal fruits oh they're not opal fruits anymore are they they haven't been opal fruits for years what are they starburst that's what they are strawberry starburst actually making me hungry thinking about eating my nail so my apex is in place on this nail so i'm just pulling down excessive product and i can break that off on the end like i said if i was using the same color on all of these nails i would then just transfer that onto the next nail however because i am testing all of these colors out there is no need for that i'm not going to faff around with such a small amount i'm not going to faff around trying to get that back into the tube either so i'm just going to pull a little bit of this product back up into the apex area i always say if you're not sure if you need a bigger apex pop a little bit more product on there just in case now on the side of caution you can always file it off not a problem okay when you're happy throw that one under the lamp so i'm just going to give these a roughly 20 second cure just because once i've done all five i'll make sure that they all go in for a full cure just to keep timing down a little bit really okay so number three sheer pink take the lid off that okay that's had 20 seconds so when you are squeezing these by the way make sure you're squeezing them from the bottom otherwise you run the risk of splitting this top open so i'm just going to give that a good squeeze middle finger so i am going to need don't forget to clean your spatula off um, i'm going to need a little bit more than last time because i am working on the middle finger so i'll get a big blob like that getting in a right okay so sheer pink going on again smack that bang in the middle pat all of this into place so this one is quite transparent the color looks quite intense when you've got quite a big blob the color does look quite intense but as this gets pulled down and thinned out it's actually a really really nice color I think when it's in a big blob like that, it looks a bit like a, a neon glass gel polish. So pull that down. I'm already checking out my apex. Looking good. Take that down. Break away any excess. Add that to my pile of unused product and then just perfect this make sure that you're happy and when you are happy we can pop that in the lamp that one was nice and quick okay number four skin I've used this one yet let's have a quick look Ooh, oh i like okay that has had 20 seconds quick clean of the spatula okay oh this is nice i like this color i really like this color laid back on i am saving what i'm hoping is going to be the, the last one that i'm going to be using as well i haven't opened yet either and it's called rose shimmer and i'm quite the name is giving me high expectations not gonna lie so i'm hoping nail can we have delivered i'm hoping it's got shimmer in it i will be deeply disappointed if there's no shimmer in it <laughs> i like this color this is really nice this is very me i'm not necessarily a pink 
kind of person. But this, I'm not really a nude person to be fair, but you know, every now and then a girl needs to have nude nails. And I would have this, this color all day long. I would have a full set of these and wear them for the rest of my life. That color is beautiful. Okay, keep that product on top of the nail. Don't let any of the product slip down under your tip. Still got to file all of these up, but just make sure that you're happy before throwing it under the lamp. Right, let's check this out. Rose shimmer. Better be a shimmer. Oh, I see shimmer. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh my god. Oh, it's like iridescent. Oh, this is beautiful. This is like if a unicorn wanted their nails doing and they specifically wanted pink gel. This is the one that they would choose. Oh my god. I don't even know if you can pick that up on the camera. I mean, you clearly can't at the minute because it's blurry. I've got one hand of the lamp. There we are, 20 seconds. Right, let's see if we can get this in focus. Oh, I don't know if you can pick that up, but believe me when I say this is beautiful. Let's see if... Sorry, crying out loud. Oh, no, I wish I'd done this one first, because then I would have just completely abandoned ship on all the other colours, and I'd have done them all in this. Right, now we've got a bigger blob. Please tell me you can see that. Oh, it's magical. Wow. Okay, so the shimmer, I I am not disappointed. Nail Kami, thank you so much for bringing this product into my life. It's now going to cost me a small fortune to buy every single bottle of this that you have in stock, but I think it will be worth it. So the shimmer, I can see pink, obviously. I can see... A little bit of purple, a bit of orange in there. It's like a full-on iridescent sparkle, shimmer, glitter, magical thing that is on my thumbnail right now. Living for this. Oh, now I want to soak all the others off so I can have this on every single nail. This is making my heart very happy. It's like slightly pearly. Ooh, this would look beautiful with a matte top coat on as well. Oh man, I was going to paint over these, but now, now I'm thinking I'm just going to soak the others off, do all of these, and then just not paint them. Just have pink shimmery unicorn nails for the rest of the week, because that would make me happy. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it so much. I don't know if you can pick that up. Oh, you can a little bit. You can see the shimmer, but I don't think you can truly appreciate the colours in there. Oh my god, that's beautiful. Right, I'm going to pop all of these under the lamp now. I'm going to give them all a full cure. That is the best thing I have had on my nail desk in a long time. Love it. Love it. I've used a lot of poly gels, acrylic gels, aqua gel, um, bubble gum gel. I've used a lot over the last few years and I've never seen one this colour. Never seen one this colour. I absolutely love it. Well done, Dave and Haley. Yes. So much yes. Okay, last few seconds of these under the lamp. And what we are going to need some lint free wipes. And you will also need your slip solution again. Just to wipe over these. Alternatively, you can use your cleanser. This one's the kiwi one. It's very nice. So, just a couple of these. Dun, 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 dun. And I'm just going to wipe over these. The acrylic gel just leaves a very, very slight sticky layer. Oh, this one's my favourite. I like this one a lot a lot a lot okay so I'm going to get these 
filed up. I'm going to speed this bit up. But I'm going to get these filed up and then I will show you them top coated so that you can really get a true feel for the colours. Okay. Now give me 180 grit. So let's start off with this thumb. Um. Okay, so we are all filed up and ready to top coat. So I'm using the Nail Kame No Wipe Top Coat. And let's start off with the pinky first. Let's zoom in on this a bit. Thank you. Ignore my dry cuticles. We'll sort them out in a minute. So this one was cover pink. Now I'm gonna nice even top coat along that nail. I like that one. Okay, next one along was cover natural. So a little bit more of a, a pinky, whitey pink, that's what I was trying to say. I believe I said this one looked like a strawberry starburst. Uh, on the middle one we used sheer pink. So you can see that now that that's been pulled out, it's, the colour isn't as intense as it was initially. 
pull that one down. Uh, this one was skin. I like this one. This is my kind of nude, my kind of natural. But then I'm so glad we saved this one till last. So glad because this one just, oh my God. The shimmer in this one. I know, I know I'm going on about it, I know. But I just love it. It is so nice. So shimmery. Look at that. Okay, right, well, let's get them cured. Zoom that back out a little bit. So we had cover pink on the pinky, cover natural. Sheer pink on the middle, skin and then rose shimmer. The best one. The best one. And after giving them a full cure, I'm then going to treat my dry cuticles to some cuticle oil. Again, this is my favourite one, the banana, which I've already established. Smells just like the banana foam sweets, which were one of my favourites growing up. So just a smidge of them. Rub that in, get it underneath. All the way around. There we go, no more dry cuticles. Pop the lid back on that before I knock it over. Okay, so I hope this video has been helpful for you. Just so you can see the different colours, a bit of a, a tutorial on how to apply. And as we've already established, you need rose shimmer in your life because it is beautiful. That much we do know. Brilliant. Right. Well, thank you for watching, guys. Um, don't forget to give this video a little like. Drop us a comment. Come and say hello. And also click that subscribe button at the top of your screen. That way you will get a little notification ready for when the next video is about to drop. Thanks for watching, guys. And thank you for being an alchemist. Bye.